have this here now. Now, is it it's similar to the attacks that we did this past couple of days, but we're gonna start off different. Okay, this one is really good if you start in the in a sit up position. You drive one leg in, I back it out to get this shin here. I want to get this shin as soon as possible. Okay, because if you step in and start attacking me, I don't have much time. Now, if you have a good flexibility, it's easy to just get the foot here. But if he's willing to drive, you can see it's already hard for me to get the foot here. The easiest way to do is a go and get this. Once I get this, I gotta hold off his leg. And I'm gonna look up, look up for this grip. We still plan to do this here. Okay, I'm saying this because the possibilities of uh, losing this, uh, don't have this one here, and working the grip for this hand on the collar, on the belt, is happen too. But if I be able to stay tight here in my seating, yeah? And the pros it comes for compared to the, the ones we did on a, you know, Monday and Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, this foot here, that's the one that don't, don't allow him to keep driving. But stand back, <coughs> keep his distance, and as you set up your grip. This one here is this, is this here, my, my butterfly hook. If you try drive, that's when you're gonna elevate him with your, with your hook, right? Try to drive. You can start elevating him this way. But stand, yes, it's just different approach, like I said. I would say that I, this one here, if you stay in city guard, it's easy to choose to, to get the hook. Of course, if you start with your back, it's gonna be a little different. But I'm still planning to get this grip here, find this grip one here, and get two against one. Two against one before before I, I, I switch my grip, I want to make sure that I keep his <coughs> uh, posture down. You understand? Yes, Doing a good job to do it uh, to this here. Once I have this, as I'm falling to the side, drive his arm between the leg, it's safe to switch this grip for this one here. You don't want to switch the grip. If I get those both hands here, try posture, posture up. Yes. You keep it here. What's that? Pull down. But if I if I pull this down here, do a good job to maintain his arm down and grab the that's that's safe to grab the collar. But if he's all the way up, if I switch, if I go like posture up, if I go two against one, it's easy for him to break the grip. We're gonna work in a situation that he goes all the way up. But right now, I want this here. Once I have his, his posture down, arm between the leg, get the collar. Now, the same exact thing that you do for butterfly swap, okay? I'm gonna fall to my shoulder, bone this this way, elevate the foot until you land his back. Got it? And the pass is the same thing. The arm that I have, I'm gonna pin against the floor to make sure his arm, his, his bottom leg cannot go, go through to recover. It's gonna give a little bit more time for me to, to get a good grip around the neck and start driving my my left knee against his hip. What's that? Falls to your shoulder. Okay, if you get this, drive, I have the grip, it's not falling back, it's this here. Get the grip, pull the arm down, switch for the collar, rolls to your shoulder as you elevate the butterfly hook. This foot stay on the ground, that's your base here. This, 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 bring the pull. Once I get this, bend the arm. Any crashes? <laughs> we still had the same approach for uh, last week. I'm, I'm doing a technique. If he throws off balance, I would take it. The goal for this position take his weight away from you for get up on top, uh, on top of him. Does it make sense? Every time his weight's on me, I have the grips, I'm good to go. Don't hesitate. Don't wait for the perfect uh, hook, perfect position, perfect angle to fall. Once his weight's away from me, I'm good to go. Don't, got it? Sir. Let's go guys, Pay up. Now we're gonna have this. <coughs> Oh, he drives, get the foot. I still plan this. I want you to understand. You, when I say still plan, because it can't cost me a grip fighting here. <coughs> so, again, you're going to sit, he's fighting to avoid this. You pull the arm, pull, hang, hang in the grip. Bring the arm down. While you bring the arm down, it's easy to fit the grip here. Don't try to get this grip like this. It's not going to work. 
You know, it's, just, it's, a, it's him trying to change levels to start looking for grip. And the arms here, you grab and, and control. Again, I'm doing this, I'm hanging it on the arm. And go this way. Okay. Another good grip is this one too. Baller or here. Got it? Very okay. Nice. If I'm going for the sweep, he still bases his leg and I, I feels heavy. How are you gonna manage to switch from one position to the other? That's how much heavy you're gonna feel the guy on top of you. You know, his base, uh, if he's is still on his feet. If I start going for butterfly, he's not falling. I'm gonna switch kind of for the single leg X, leg goes this way, and I bring my foot here. Now the foot wasn't doing much, now that's the support for the butterfly sweep, it's gonna extend this. It's not much he can do against this foot here. But you can see his base. But this year for me, if I try just get up like this, if you do, yes, here, I'm gonna start feeling the pressure on my, my chest. Maintain this leg to keep his weight away, but also to help to extend it and make him fall to the, his knee. If you drop to the knee, that's a sign for me that I'm good to go. Yeah? Sure. Oh. Push and drive. Kind of the same thing. Right up in the side control. From a tender grips, from a tender grip that I have, it's, it's not gonna be too hard for you to finish the side control. Again, this here. Oh, oh, up here. It goes far. Butterfly should look, look at this leg, elevate this way. Get to the top, a water way. This leg here, if I need, I will, I'm gonna use, can go to this one here, can go this way, extra push on the hip, what's in? Kind of the same setup that you do for this foot, you do when, when you come up on a, in a single leg X to X guard. You know, the leg helps you the, the hook or this, but I don't need this. His weight's away far from me. I'm not planning to bring his weight back here and start fighting for X guard position. I'm already here. But send his weight, his final way to, his final way to try keep his, bring his weight back. But this leg here is not gonna let him. What's that or no? Yes, sir. You don't use, you don't do all your weapons if you don't need. It's there. If you need, you're gonna use. But right now, what we need now is, he has a good base the leg here, right? And the foot was on the ground, stop pushing his uh, his far leg. Got it? Sorry. Let's go guys, put up. One more tools in case that uh, he don't fall in my third attempt. Okay, first attempt, second one, and third. Uh, one thing that I don't want to have to uh, want to do is uh, him scratch his base solid on top of him. That's when he's gonna break grip, you gotta get forward, you can play the back step, cut the knee on your, on your rib, but stand, you don't want to deal with this. And I'm, I'm planning to still move him. Okay, Jamal, once I go, and another thing too, if you, this arm, if you can turn, that helps a lot. Hang that weight here, see that? It's better than the collar. If you grab here, it works too, but if you bend the arm, like you're forcing his arm to go even <coughs> deeper between the leg. I mean, like you, you kind of almost should lock him, pulling the elbow towards you, kind of, the elbow now a little bit more down to the shoulder this way. You understand? Yes, sir. Now I'm going for butterfly, boom, boom. Same thing. The reason that you put this leg here is because if the leg stay on here in a, if he's on his feet, bring your leg to my shin, can you? This one here. Yes, it drop your, your shin. It, yes, it's too heavy. That's what we think that you want to do it. You know, if it come heavy with a solid base, he's gonna try to kill this hook, just keeping knee, knee cutting. Does it make sense? Yes, That's yes, why you need that ball to this here. Now look what happened. Put your weight on this leg. Yes, he come up this way here. I still have my grip. But stand. If you sit tall, what is gonna happen? He's gonna break this this grip here. Boom, boom. You want this? It is okay because we still have the X guard, but I, I don't want a, all the, the things you have to do to X guard. Does it make sense? Yes, yes sir. Hook this leg here. Still the same plan, throw his, lay, his weight away from me. Oh, come on. See that, you guys all here, huh? Play soccer, Noah's bicycle, bicycle kick. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yes, sir. The yes, same sir. thing, bicycle kick. The best team sport, sport in the world, huh? 
Yeah, I agree with me in the real, The real world real champions. Yeah, the real world champions. If you win the World Cup, you are yeah, champ of the world for sure. Okay. Ball? Yeah, look, there's this bounce back here. Maintain your grip. See this leg here? It goes over this, this tight. Kind of the same idea. What's saying or no? Oh. You're gonna change your angle a little bit to work this hook. This hook, the hook, the uh, the second one is like this. This one is like this. Foot in the ground. This way. Got it? Yes, sir. Let's go, guys. We're up.